Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've been on my channel. I think the last video I filmed was a January wrap up. This year has been insanely busy and I've just unintentionally not picked up the camera. I have missed filming however and I really would love to be able to get back into filming. So I thought to get back into things, I thought I'd do a video which is an oldie but a goodie and that is picking my TBR. So we have just hit September, it's currently the 10th of September and I'm reading Swift and Settled by Lila Sage. This book has been on my reading list for a while and as you can see I've read a huge chunk of it. I started it a couple months ago, just never finished it and my goal at towards the end of this year is to just really get down my TBR. I pulled majority of the books that I haven't read out of my bookshelf onto my TBR cart purely because I am sick and tired of not finishing my TBR and I have finally gone to that point of reading where if I don't like a book I will just DNF it on the spot. So my goal is to really declutter this book cart so that when it gets to Christmas and things like that I am able to buy more books. So yeah we are obviously a little bit of the way into September at the moment but I don't really have any pressures on what I'm reading. I'm just trying to get my cart down and I've been mood reading quite a bit. I'm a massive mood reader so the best way to get my TBR down is to read what I'm feeling like but my mood is shifting from wanting to only read romance to kind of having a bit more exploration into different genres that are in my TBR cart. So I thought what better way to do that than to actually just do a prompt video. So I have my trusty little jar and we will get started. Um, I think this month I don't have a lot of uni assessments per se. Obviously I'll be working through a lot of things still but in comparison it's not as bad as my previous month months so I think I'll pick five to be on the safe side um, and that will give me some freedom to pick some other things from my TBR cart or just read all five of those if I'm feeling frisky no if I'm feeling like it really <laughs> oh okay one just absolutely flew out so oh my god so we'll go with that one a book by one of your favorite authors oh you see my problem is is when I have a favorite author I just eat up all their books and one go Holly Jackson read their backlist Abby Jimenez I haven't read her backlist I've read the current very popular Interconnected Centerline series which starts with Part of Your World. I haven't started The Friend Zone which is the set first book in the like the other third trilogy Interconnected Standalone series and I also don't have that one. I've got the other two but I cannot find for life me that one. I think I'll leave this prompt till like the end because I don't think there's anything at the moment. A book that's over 500 pages. Are you joking? Ooh. I feel like I have a... I don't think this one. I'm trying to pick books that I... I haven't picked. No. No. Oh. <laughs> this is not going well. Oh, you are. Oh, you're just... I feel like... Okay. No. Alright, so I've picked up off my bookshelf. I've got the blood... Oh, I've still got the QBD tech on it. I've, I've got The Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead or I have Atlas Six by Olive Blake. I think I'm going to do Blood Promise only because uh, this is the start of a new series and I already have started so many series so it doesn't make sense for me to start a new one when I can get towards finishing another one. This one is the fourth installment and I have two more after this and it is over 500 pages just. So I think I'm going to do that and just we'll start with that one. A book from your favourite genre. Okay well my favourite genre is romance. Like just being honest it is my favorite genre but at the same time i just no okay no i know what i'm gonna do my favorite genre is romance so i'm going to finally pick up flawless by elsie silver the amount of times i've gone to pick this book up and haven't is is criminal it is absolutely criminal so we're gonna do that because it's my favorite genre and i can finally pick it up and read it let's 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 do that shall we a book published after 2015. That shouldn't be that difficult. That kind of brings my whole options open. 2019. I think I'm going to pick this up. It's made by Stephanie Lan. I, again, it's been part of my TBR prompt before. Have I read it? No. Will I read it now? M most probably, yes. I'm kind of in that headspace of reading a non-fiction book. I have a lovely selection on my book cart down the bottom 
and I just haven't gotten to them so I really would love to read this it sounds very intriguing it's a single mother who is raising her daughter and she is a maid and it's the experience of navigating her job but also a higher education in living in assisted housing and looking for government assistance okay what we got this is technically my last pro maybe we'll do six maybe i'll throw it in there a book that ends in an odd number of pages let me look at my books that i'm currently in the midst of that's not gonna work that is an odd number the book i picked is magnolia park's a long way home by jessa hastings as you can see well, you're again in the middle of it. I have about one, two, three books that I'm currently in the middle of. Or three, five books that I'm currently in the middle of. I will finish this today, so technically four. I just, I don't know what it is. Magnolia and BJ just aggravate me. I, a Daisy hates Stan, but I just, it's just so hard. So hard to get into. But anyway... We'll just see how we go. I'm really hoping it picks up a bit. I'm just, I'm a, sick of the back and forth, if I'm being quite honest. I'm just sick of going back and forth. Like, they're together, they're not. They're close, they're not. It's just a bit much for me. Quite honest, if I'm being quite honest here. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to answering this, a book by one of your favourite authors. I don't have any books on the cart, actually, from any of my favourite authors and what I consider a favourite author is I have A their entire backlist and read majority of them or read their entire backlist, B I obsess over it and will read them until I complete their whole backlist. I don't even know, no because I really, I don't want to because I know in my heart, maybe we'll scratch this prompt because I don't think it's the right prompt for this month. I'm gonna, just going to scratch it and we're going to pick two more. A book that starts with a random letter. Okay, so I've got to get my phone out. Hey Siri, pick a random letter. C. So she chose C. That is not very easy. Do I have any that start with C? Oh, I do. One, two. We have caught up. Carrie Soto is back. Consider me. Archer's... No, that's his... Trying to Rich Girlfriend. Off the bat, I'm going to say no to Consider Me because that is starting a new series. Again, trying to avoid that realistically. So I can either do Caught Up by Liz Tomford or Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. How am I actually meant to get that out? Question mark? I've oh, got it. Okay. I have put this up. This book came out in 2022, two years ago. And I haven't read it. I'm gonna read this one. So I'm gonna read Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid because I'm terrible. I'm so terrible with making sure I read books that are on my TBR. As you can tell, two years ago, two years it's been on my TBR. So bad. Last one. A book with a number in the title. Oh, oh. I think I've only got one. A number is in like, okay, I've got two. So I've got one dark window or 99% mine. You know what I'm going to say. I can't do 99% nine because that's starting another series that I have 20,000 series that I'm in the middle of. I literally watched back my series I'd like to read this year video. I am yet, I finished one of those. I'm yet to start or finish the ones that I mentioned. It's pretty terrible. So we're gonna go with 99% Mind by Sally Thorne. I've read The Hating Game. I didn't like it. Don't know why I bought this book, but we'll see how we go. Don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but that's what we're gonna do. So here are the books that I will be reading in September. 99% Mind by Sally Thorne. Made by Stephanie Land. Flawless by Elsie Silver. Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead. Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home by Jessa Hastings. And Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So hopefully I'll be able to get through all these books this month. Um, I've been really good at reading every night before bed, so that's really up to my reading goals. I've also switched from Scribe, the audiobook app I was listening to, to Spotify um, because they have more audiobooks for recent books that are out so I'm able to have a bit more variety in what I'm able to listen to audiobook wise and it just helps because I can actually just read the one book on audiobook or physical form rather than having two going at the same time because I don't have it on my audiobook platform and I found it's been really good it's helped me get through a lot of Magnolia Parks along my home as well which I didn't expect uh, the audiobook is a little bit more intriguing to read so yeah that's helped a lot so hopefully 
with that in mind I'll be able to get through this a little bit quicker. Not that it's a race, I am a person that reads quality over quantity so again if I don't like the book I will DNF it. It's not worth my time um, and it's not worth saying I've read you know an extra book in my reading total for the year if I didn't enjoy it or didn't finish it. So yeah that's my thoughts and opinions and I will see you all in my next video hopefully very very soon. Bye guys.